Welcome to the Comfy Couch Cast, everyone. I'm Captain, and over here is with Pizza and Random Heary. How are you guys doing? How's it going? It's me, Random Heary, and there's Grayson right here. Uh, yep, uh, I'm I'm here as well. I'm I'm Mr. Grayson. Yeah. How are you? We're just what like a three piece. What is this crossover episode? Oh man, has fallen into the river in Lego City. Start the new rescue helicopter. <gasps> it's Build the helicopter. <laughs> That's right, bitches. I'm back from the dead. Holy shit, you, you thought I went extinct? I, you can't. You can't make me extinct. Suck it. I'm back. Flashbacks. No, 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 Dino's back from the gathering of the juggalos. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I hate juggalos. I fucking hate. Fucking hate. Hey, Grayson. How about? Wait, wait, no, you say you hate furries and juggalos, but yet you, but yet you love Nessie. Yeah, I mean, wait, Nessie, wait, wait, isn't Nessie, the, Nessie's an exception, alright? Wait, isn't, it, wait okay. isn't one of the juggalos have a daughter furry or something? Yeah! Oh, God. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no, one of the members of ICP uh, has a, yeah, Violent J's daughter is a furry, I think. Oh daughter. my god. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the I don't know the details. You'll have to ask Nessie. <laughs> yeah, he's proud. He's he's proud that his he's like, yo, my daughter's a furry and I'm proud. I missed you guys. I love you, man. I missed uh, you too. Dino, Dino, come here. Give 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 us all big smoochie. So big smoochies, no homo. Mwah. No, no, all the homo from me. Oh, oh we got the homo from my end. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> Except for Grayson, I'll go to jail. Okay. <laughs> the Comfy Couch Cast will return after these messages. This month's batch of episodes is brought to you in part by Grand Order Mighty. It's about a 19-year-old Olympic swimmer named Jessica whose life gets changed when the ship she, her best friend, and teammates are on gets shipped direct on an island where a gigantic robot watches over a base ran by a mad scientist goon. Now tasked with saving the world from the madman who helped create the robot, it's up to her and Grand Order to fight their way through a horde of evil robots. But if you asked her... Goofing on with her metal friend sounds like a much better idea. It's Megas XLR meets Johnny Sacco in this rather pedestrian take on the classic mecha genre with a new page e every week. Click the link in the description below to read Grand or the Mighty. We now return to the Comfy Couch Cast. So, um, yeah, anyway, um, we have some topics to talk about. Um, so, uh, Dino, if you, if you, do, if you could do the honor... Um, so the first topic for today, folks, is Funimation, Funimation canceling their new series, Interspecies Reviewer. Why exactly? Because, because according to them, where is the article? Funimation. It, they said something of Funimation Interspecies <coughs> Reviewers. Let me see. Animation says, go, all right, all right, let's Thanks see. Thanks for preparing yourself for the podcast. Sorry. Fuck you. After, <laughs> okay, this is what Funimation said. After careful consideration, we determined that this series falls outside of our standards. We have the utmost respect for our creators, so rather than substantially alter their content, we felt taking it down was the most respectful choice. What the fuck do you mean outside of your standards? Motherfucker, you got high school DXD, panty and stocking. What else is there? Kill a Valkyrie kill. Valkyrie Drive Mermaid. What else was there? What else was okay, there? Okay, Valkyrie Drive is the worst one. Valkyrie Drive is by far the worst. I feel like seven like, seven mortal that. sins. Like fucking yeah, like Valkyrie Drive. You saw, you remember that shit? That Valkyrie thing. Drive is just straight up hentai. Yeah, exactly. No, we, we <laughs> watch, uh, Valkyrie Drive with Dying. Yeah, we all watched it together one time, and it, it made me and Captain so uncomfortable that we left. Yeah, exactly. And we're so we're fucking degenerates. Exactly. So it's like, what? What are you guys even arguing about? Why are you? What standard? Your anime. Anime is just weeaboo garbage. Just wow. all fan service and panty shots and all wait, that and wait, manly Dino, punching Dino, each other. Dino, Dino, wait! I thought you were an animation guy. And wherever it goes, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my my mic is all dirty and shit because I'm doing that. <laughs> stop, 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 stop fucking deep throating the mic. Damn, I, gotta, I don't give a fuck. But still, though, it's so stupid. Like, they, they also have Berserk. Berserk is just pure violent gore. And, oh, God, it gets disturbing. This is one scene. I can't even say it, but it involves a horse. I'll just say it involves a horse. And, okay, wait, cap it. Put put a link in the description to the Berserk bloopers because they're the funniest thing. I think I will. And also, uh, about, I'll, I'll and another it. thing. Recently, I watched Helsing. Recently, I watched Helsing OVA, which they have. Right? It's good, but it's surprisingly sexual. 
surprisingly. Oh, big. oh yeah, like I remember watching Hellsing a lot when I was like um, my edgy teenage self. Like which one, the anime or the OVA? Um, both. Ah uh, shit, yeah. Well, I didn't. I only watched one episode of the anime, but the OVA it goes off. It's so bloody and brutal, and oh my god, it's also sexual. I'm surprised. Hey, wait, um, tell it, tell them about the end of the Red Van Winkle fight that you think is just pretty much a hentai. I mean, it is a hentai. Like it's straight it, up hentai. It's not. Honestly. It's just, it's just phallic symbolism. But Diana yeah, said anything with a penis is a, is a hentai. It's not even a penis. It's a gun. <laughs> he just shoves it to her well, chest. Yeah, but it's. No, but it's like a gun piece. Like, yeah. that's, the, that's where the sexual element comes in. Yeah, basically. It's, I mean, it's like, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, if I can give my rebuttal on this, like, isn't this the same company that fired somebody for, like, some sexual, for, like, some allegations that to this day... I don't, don't like, want to get political. Yeah. But isn't well, this the same company yeah, yes, that this said, is. But isn't this the same company that said that they have high-quality standards... And yet they have, like, unreleased bloopers of, like, the Dragon Ball Z voice actors just saying really disturbing shit, like, go, <laughs> hey, look at those. <laughs> they will never let no, it live, no, yeah. no, the most disturbing part of, of that was, like, Chi-Chi and Gohan just, like, implying this kind of weird incest narrative. I mean, that was, that was no, 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 really no, gross. No, 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 no. The best one was the fact that, like, um, Yam- that Yamcha was getting sodomized by, like... That shit went on for way too long. long. <laughs> that, 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 no, that did go on for way too long. Also, Yamcha is a top, obviously. He's not... He, he isn't gonna get pegged, alright? No, 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 Yamcha is a bottom. Have you seen what happened to him in the first episode of Z? Uh, okay, like, I- I'm gonna say a controversial yeah, that, that, opinion. That's an alien, though. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, him up against an alien. Listen, guys, I might be controversial. I might be controversial about Yamcha. He he is a strong human, and I think he's kind of getting it unfair. Yeah, Yamcha, Yamcha's based. Have y'all ever seen the original Dragon Ball? It's so good. Yeah. So much better than- nobody nobody oh. saw the original Dragon Ball. The only Dragon Ball that that's important to us Americans is is Z and and yeah, super for like trash. the hype beast. Yeah, that yeah, that's because you're fucking trash. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, oh, I. Yeah, fucking all of Mexico loves Dragon Ball Z. What are you talking yeah, about? Um, this reminds me of this like one joke from one of like um the DBZ bridge. It was like, "I'm here to help you. Aren't we enemies? Nobody watched Dragon Ball." <laughs> <laughs> but like I don't know like how to say it for this it's like isn't with all the drama that happened with Funimation it's like it makes you wonder like honestly like what's even the point of having a deal I think they're trying to overcorrect overcorrect know. what though that's my question I don't know I, from what it, oh, it, go ahead, it's all such a convoluted stupid ass history at this point that it just makes me want to just curl up in a ball and just not just 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 what you know what you know what shit like this is why I just want to start watching subs but I'm not gonna do it because I'm a lazy American <laughs> well yeah don't read I, but yeah I don't wanna I don't want to read a television show <laughs> too bad too bad I've been doing this for 20 years bitch hey Dino what's this you know, new anime I about humor? Fuck you I don't give a fuck well before I explain the show uh, basically, what was it going to say? Fuck. Fuck, I forgot. Damn it. Wait, no, no, no. Explain what the show is. What's the show that they Oh, get? oh, no. My Hold on. theory that, that the reason why they're doing this is because Funimation is owned by Sony, and Sony has recently been, like, being all, like, has been all PC, right? They won't allow, like, sexual content in their games, right? For whatever reason. Motherfucker, they, they, Last of Us got an ESRB rating for nudity and, like, sexual, sexual violence and such. It's like, what kind of, se- what is this whole ordeal with them wanting yo, to Yo, 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 wait. I don't fucking know. Wait, wait, wasn't, remember that <coughs> Japanese exclusive PS2 game, Ray Play? Oh, uh, uh, was it really? Yeah, that was a, that was a PS2 exclusive in Japan from what I remember. Uh, the, the, the one that Fox News got really mad about and said was, like, glorifying rape in video games. It's like, first of all, it's not even available in America, you fucking boomer. Mm-hmm. I, oh yeah, that's fucking cat of worms. That was, that was ugly. Um, let's see, uh, 
Alright, so I'm this other sure. anime, can I guess what this plot is? Alright, I'm judging that by this picture. So, I'm guessing, like, um, this is like a, a factory where they make, like, um, any kind of waifu that people have a taste for. It's like, you go to a hentai website and there's, like, different tags. So, each of them are the tags, and the dude in the middle is, like, the reviewer. He's the hentai reviewer. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, he, yeah, he's the nostalgia critic. He remembers it, so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> the plot of this, the plot of this is, in a world where many different humanoid species exist and prostitution is legal, there exist various brothels for each kind of species run by sucky girls. <laughs> As each species has different Dude, opinions on really how each have prostitute to, like, works. Read the Wikipedia just to I don't give a fuck. I'm not being great. It's up my dick. <laughs> Grayson, I want to hear this. Opinions on each, how each prostitution works for them. Various brothels visitors have become reviewers, rating their experiences with various sucky girls opposing them at the local tavern. The series largely centers on a human human named Stunk, an elf named Zell, and an angel named Crimbale, Crimbale, whatever. Voiced by Brittany Karbu- Karbowski. I hope I said her name. She's a good girl. I like Brittany. <laughs> Not Brittany Spears. She's like, where the fuck has that bitch been? <laughs> I don't know, she got her kids taken away through custody. Oh, poor Brittany. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah that's because she hit her baby one more time. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh. I thought Brittany was getting better. Uh, hit me, baby, one more time. One more time. <laughs> so basically, this show is just a cartoon community. But with horse. Or, oh, no, 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 sex workers, I apologize. Mm-hmm. Wow! Oh, Dinah, Dinah's getting PC for 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 sex workers. He can't call them whores anymore. Damn. I can't, believe, I can't believe Japan has actually made a, an anime about the, about the Toonies. Can't this. wait to see. I can't wait to see this mess. The Toonies. I, I can't believe it. I I was I was this close. I was so close to getting the plot right. Guys, guys, question. Um, Captain, have you explained on the podcast what a Toonie is? Um, this is actually a term that Jacob and I created. It's basically what we call like the, the cartoon community. You know, people like Mr. Renner and such. Like those are those are a good example of toonies. Well, what is a toonie? Like you just say examples, but well, we, well, we need a definition. Oh shit! Um, definition, right. definition. I think I gave you. Okay, a toonie is a person who is incredibly obsessive with the knowledge or lack thereof. <laughs> Most of it was gathered from Wikipedia. Act smug or self entitled with the whole medium of animation. Yeah. <laughs> Toonies. Hey guys, have you heard of this um obscure little cartoon? Uh you might not remember it. It's 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 called Billy and Mandy. That's that's basically the Toonie attitude. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know things, but they pretend to. <laughs> well, wow, are you gonna take that from him, random? You can take shit from your boy. No, I'm not taking. No, I'm not giving any shit. I'm just, I'm just like acting like a toony for the sake of, for the sake well, of the definition. Well, you see, fellow. Well, you see, all these doctors. All you know, these it, doctors. They're no, stupid. No, see, you well, see, it's like, it's like when you're at a spelling bee and uh, you, <laughs> you ask them to use the word in a sentence. You know, I'm just using toony in a sentence, essentially. Still, I, I'm looking at like um your icon right now with a wrestling bitch face right now. <laughs> Toonies. Trying to bring Billy and Mandy in the mud like that. <laughs> Hell yeah, the Toonies. Well, you see, guys, Well, y- there's like doctors and lawyers and fucking astronauts. People think they're the smartest? No, fuck that. The fucking cartoon reviewers on YouTube, they're the bi- They're the true intellectuals. They have the biggest No, 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 the, tr- the truest intellectuals were the, were the people on YouTube in 2009. <laughs> Holy shit, yes. Yeah, so you're talking, seriously. Yeah. Ten years, ten yeah. years of medical school wasted. <laughs> Sorry, doctors. <laughs> no, you go to medical school for eight years. I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, you go to medical school just so you can make theory videos about BoJack Horseman. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, did you know that the Rugrats are dead? <laughs> no. <laughs> Really? You're dead. Angelica's he told it Angelica's head Guys Guys, I guys I have important news. What? What what? Chris Chan's not crediting the artist again. Uh, uh, I know. And the, and the sky's blue. What else is new? And also, Mr. Peanut died yesterday on Sunday. Yeah, he's fucking dead. No, Mr. Peanut's been dead for a while. 
but 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 he 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 was rebirthed on Sunday as 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 our as our holy Lord and defeater of the evil baby Yoda, baby nut. And all praise baby nut. He's he's epic. He's a gamer. He he he, he, he beats his wife. Grayson, please don't say baby nut. It sounds disgusting the way you say it. Listen, listen. So let me get this straight. His name, though, his name is Baby Nut. No, it, because it's like the way it sounds. It's like it almost sounds like Baby Nut. Like the baby is like you know doing that thing that I don't want to say because it sounds absolutely no. disgusting. And I saw some creep on Twitter say that. Baby is nutting. Someday. The baby's nutting. Is, is is that what you? No, no, no. Please, no. Okay, so basically, let me get this straight. So Mr. Peanut, who is like um a really old mascot who's iconic, um gets killed just so. They can follow the trend of Baby Yoda by making Baby Nut. Yes. <laughs> no, it's so that they can defeat the evil that is that lies within no. Baby Yoda. I want to kill myself just by hearing that. No, you want to know the disgusting thing about no, this whole ordeal, though, is? Like, that, this, like, this, that the original ad came out around the same time the guy who cre- who founded Monty Python passed away. Ah, oh, shit. That that, f- really? that fucked me up when when uh when he died. Who who was it again? Terry Jones. Yeah, I think it was Terry Jones who passed away. But like, yeah, no, yeah. nobody was no nobody was talking about <laughs> talking about stupid advertisement of like some old mascot dying for some fucking reason. Yeah, well, I mean, I I cried because <laughs> I by one of the two Terrys, one of the <laughs> Monty Python Terrys. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. I'll always yeah. remember. We'll always remember you for that great movie known as The Holy Grail. Yeah. Always look on the bright side of life. Uh, that's that's from that's from uh, Life and Brian. Not anyway, did anyone even watch the Super Bowl? Because I didn't. Nah, uh, I, I, don't, I don't care. I, uh, Super Bowl. The only thing I know about it is about the Super Bowl is Baby Nut, like, um, being born out of, like, spite, and also, like, Shakira is part of, like, um, the Magic Con Shell Club. Yeah, and also, and also, fucking Bill Murray had the best commercial that, during that night. Oh, I saw, like, an ad on YouTube with, like, um, Wait, Groundhog's the, uh, Day. Yeah, Groundhog's Day. It was Groundhog's Day that day, and also, it was, like, uh, what the fuck was it? It was o two o two twenty twenty. It was like that shit only happens like once every nine hundred years. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Happy um, happy belated Groundhog Day, everyone. Cool. Yeah. Gro- wait, wait, there was there was some article about Buddhist themes in Groundhog Day that my brother tweeted about. It was funny. No, also, please Cooper's watch Groundhog Day. It's a really good movie. Dude, everyone's seen Groundhog Day. It's a classic. It is. The tooties. So that was the Super Bowl. I don't know. Like I thought it was all right. I don't know. I had I have no interest in the Super Bowl. I'm just whatever. I just watch the commercials and just I'm, I'm amazed amazing. at how much money they fucking wait. I, I hear like the commercials haven't been good for like years. Yeah, oh, they haven't. The 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 only Super Bowl <clears throat> commercial that I really remember is Puppy Monkey Baby because I thought it was the funniest thing in the universe. That thing disturbed me. Shut the fuck up. I will kill that. I thought that thing. that was the funniest thing in the dude. That, that, I was I was at school the next day quoting Puppy Monkey Baby. I was I was God, that. Guy. I hate it. I thought it was cute. It was oh, satanic. It's not, it's not as bad as like the Dober like the Dober Wawa commercial where like um they. You know, like, it was just, like, a mix of, like, a Doberman and a Chihuahua, and, like, it had this hideous-looking CGI. Uh, that was, like, a... That was, like, for... That was, like, for an ad for, like... A, that was, like, used for a kid commercial. Wow. Oof. I don't know. Maybe I just liked Puppy Monkey Baby because of my brand loyalty <coughs> to, um... To Mountain Dew. Oh, God. You you like <laughs> Mountain Dew. You gamer. Yeah. Yeah, I do like Mountain Dew. You gotta fucking... Mine awesome. is better, bitch. Okay, at least it's Mountain Dew and not like. Fuck you up. At least it's mo- Mountain Dew and not Monster Energy Drink. Then I will have a problem. We can all agree on that. <laughs> yeah, Mount- like Mountain Dew is gamer juice, guys. It's, mm-hmm. it, it, it's gamer juice. <laughs> oh, do you want some Doritos? With, oh, do you want some Doritos with that too, Grayson? Yes, I do, because that is unironically a good. Oh, Cheetos are better though. Nope. 
All right. Okay. Um, let's see. What else? Yeah. I, at least he's, like, not drinking Monster Energy Drink, because, like, that shit is actually bad for you. Exactly. Oh, wait. We can argue Energy that. Drinks, there was a good, there was an actually good Super Bowl commercial with Martin Scorsese, uh, the guy who says that Marvel movies aren't cinema, and Jonah Hill, the fat guy from Superbad. And um, he's fat movie. sometimes. Okay, he's, he's only fat sometimes. I don't, I don't think he's fat right now. Um, but, uh, but you know, that's depending on who you ask, I guess. Uh, fucking, they're, they're making Coca-Cola energy drinks, and I'm, what? I, I kind of I want to try that. Uh, um, I don't know why. That sounds like the worst idea I've ever that heard. Does. No, I didn't consent. Dude, I, I, I didn't consent, but, like, I want it in my mouth. God that, damn it. All that carbonation. I'm just thinking about it right now, and my stomach's already turning. Oh, God. My fucking manager's eating energy drinks. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Do you want to die? <coughs> Wait, your manager eats them? Like, like, like... like just... <laughs> drink some, fuck! <laughs> okay, that's not the worst thing. Um, the that worst thing... be so based if they just, like, <laughs> ate the can. <laughs> Do you know what? You want to hear something even worse than that? What? <laughs> so I have a friend. We went out to like um, we went to like um, get food one time um at Burger King, and do you know what he does? He buys a large fountain drink and a large chocolate milkshake, and he fills that shit up with Mountain Dew. Oh my god! Damn. I'm, I'm like nah, nah, bro. Jesus Christ! Welcome to America. <laughs> and I'm like, why would you do that? You're killing your fucking insides. This is America. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, but Brandon, did you actually try it? Because, like, I've done that before. It's a good combo. No, no, like... <laughs> like, okay, I get it, like, I'm um, with you, Grayson, because, yeah, you're young. Like, but, like, if you're, like... Like, turning 24 soon, and you're doing this. No. <laughs> I second that decree. I mean... Yeah, like, this is, like, um, hopefully, I don't have to eat anybody through this shit ever. Fuck it, eh? I you guess, know, I, I think that, I, you know, I think at that point, it's like a power move, like, for intimidation. Guys, you know? guys, uh, guys, 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 right. <laughs> guys, 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 I'd like to go back real quick, but let's talk about this thumbnail that I posted earlier, alright? Like, look at this, it's just, I love it, it's the definition of clickbait, look at this, it's so lovely. <laughs> oh my god. god. It's got a shocked anime character, it has cancelled, and it has a fucking YouTuber making a weird face. And, <laughs> I and, love it. Yo, is Funimation about to cross his arms? <laughs> yeah, he already crossed his arms, man. Yeah. <laughs> so then for that reason, they want the face. <laughs> Look at hey, What is it? Wait, let, uh, let's go on a tangent. What is it? What's the deal with, like, people crossing their arms and shit? Like, everyone's gangster until they started crossing their arms. It's like, oh, fuck, we're gonna get fucked up. Yo, it's basically yeah. you proving your facts. <laughs> no, I'm, yeah, no, I'm scared. Yeah, no, I'm scared because I don't want LS Mark to cross his arms at me. Oh no! No, you, you should be more up. scared when Just a Robot crosses his arms in front of you. Oh, oh yeah. fuck, Just a Robot! I'll kick his pussy ass. <laughs> what ass? He's a robot. He's made out of steel. Okay, I'll kick his steel ass. I'll, I'll kick his shiny metal ass. I'll do it like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, like no, you ass. better be scared when like Easy Peasy crosses his arms. Yeah. Oh wait, he's got no limbs. He's just a head. <laughs> just a head. He's just a floating head. Just, oh, no. just a head sounds like a parody of one of one of those shitty commentary channels, like. Hey guys, just a head here, and I'm gonna talk about how feminism is ruining every Olympic head. Oh uh, no, look at this, look at the feminist propaganda. <laughs> no, 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 everything will go to hell when ER crosses his arms. Then all hell will break loose. Oh, mm -hmm. ER, ER doesn't have two arms though, he has like there 47 hentai tentacles. No, he has two arms. No, but haven't you seen his background? Those are all supposed to be connected to his body. Yeah, to his back, but he still has arms, so he can cross no, his arms. No, but those are his arms, too, technically. Uh, okay, but what if he crosses his, like, tentacles? <laughs> oh, shit, we're fucked. Yeah, fun. exactly. Well, then, well, then, well, then Doc Ock needs to become a commentary YouTuber. <laughs> the that's, problem that's with Spider-Man! <laughs> My response to Doc Ock. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, he cancelled Spider-Man, Spider-Man has to <laughs> No, I thought, the, no, I yeah. thought, like, James, I thought James Jonah Jameson cancelled Spider-Man. I mean, that's true, that's his whole job. 
I mean, he did become like. I mean, he did have his own show called Info. That's basically Infowars in the PS4 Spider-Man game. He does. It is Infowars. <laughs> uh, wait, wait! Did they put chemicals in the water and turn the spiders gay? Yes, they did. <laughs> podcast to listen back to because I don't think any of this is going to make sense. <laughs> yes. Shut up. This is good. I love you guys. I love though. this dumpster fire. Well, it's not a, that bad of a dumpster fire. It could be worse. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not that bad because no one's peed on it yet. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> the the um, fire is still raging. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, uh, work, how was work? Work was mad. I gotta, okay, I gotta finish my... Ah, oh, shit. I gotta do my drawings for fucking... Uh, I gotta finish my drawings for my artist. I got oh. a surprise for you. Oh yeah, I made an update video. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw your update video. It was cool. Yeah. What did you wow. think of the the intro? Oh yeah, that oh yeah, that was cool with like um, MGS4. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and fuck and pan. God damn. Oh, also that took, like um, a, that took like an hour for some reason. That took an hour, really? <laughs> yeah, that looked because the fucking camera because the head's like bopping back and forth. It's insane. Oh, that sucks. But anyway, like. Can I tell you about my commute to work today? Oh yeah, go ahead. All I saw were just people like wearing masks today because they're all paranoid about the coronavirus. Uh oh. Oh damn. I didn't. I didn't realize that you were <coughs> in a liberal island. Uh, Wait, uh, is yeah. New York? Would you consider Manhattan liberal island? Um, actually, yeah. Honestly, hmm. I mean to be. Uh, Okay, so here's my two cents and why Pete, I think people are reacting to this stupid little virus. Mm-hmm. What? Here's the thing. In China, I feel like it's pretty obvious as to why like this virus is killing people. Like, Have you seen the living condition like the people in China go through? Like, They eat, they eat all kinds of animals. They carry whatever kind of amount of diseases. Like, the environment that they live in is absolute crap. Like, th- like there's nothing. Like, the water's <laughs> dirty. Their environment's incredibly dirty. I'm pretty sure, like, the oxygen they breathe is incredibly dirty. Like, I feel so bad for them, smog. though. So much smog. And here's probably another issue. It's, like, I'm pretty sure, like, um, the government is it. cutting off funds from, like, uh, doctors and such just so that they can keep benefiting their own asses and such. Okay, wait. So, so cap it. Are you gonna are you gonna cross your arms and make a commentary video about China? <laughs> yes. No, I'm getting no, I'm gonna make a video on why we should cancel China. Yes. <laughs> not not the Chinese people, but like no, 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 not the Chinese people. I'm gonna cancel the Chinese government. I, I feel bad for like my friend. So like one of my friends um keeps getting dirty looks every time like she just walks the street because people keep on saying she has the coronavirus, and I'm like that's oh, fucked up. Don't do that. Wait, is it because she's Chinese? Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's really fucked up. That's that so is fucked Oh, that no, is no. It's not as bad as up here in Canada, though. Canada? You wanna know, know what they do to here to, like, pe- to, like Chinese what people in Canada, though? What? Do, what? Do they, do they arrest them and put... They arrest them and lock them up in chambers. Wait, so, oh! Oh! In Canada? Yeah. Really? Canada? Are you sure Wait, about so, that? Like, it was all over the news for, like, a week and such. Like, uh, they basically said if you're Chinese, like, they were going to put you, that they were going to lock you up in a chamber. Wait, so the Chinese are being detained in Canada? Yep. The Canadians being detained. For- See, I knew as soon as Neil Peart died that Canada was going to go to hell. Because the <laughs> men who hold high places are not... Or not uh, starting to, to build a new reality that's closer to the heart. It's just not I'm happening. trying. I'm trying to find this. I'm trying to find evidence. Of- yeah. So I'm. So I'm seeing like businessmen wearing masks. I'm seeing a lot of teenagers wearing masks, and they're making fun of like um people who like um like cough or something, and they're just and they're acting all freaked out. <laughs> this is. I don't. Oh God. Jesus Christ, like, I swear I really can't stand when, like, we hear shit about, like, these stupid viruses being yeah. spread all over the world. Yeah, no, I would, see, I would, if see, if you give people any opportunity to be racist, they'll jump at it. Yeah. I know, I, I fucking hate people. Do you know what I want to do? I want to buy a mask and just cover my eyes because I, wanna, I don't want to get infected by, like, these people. You don't want to get infected by making eye contact? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. I, I would get a mask for just my eyes. Do it. Yeah. What are you gonna be like? What are you gonna be Nightwing or something? 
Yes. Yeah. He's good book. Dude, honestly, honestly, if here he was a superhero, I feel like he'd be like Nightwing. Mm-hmm. Wait, who's that one guy in Kill the Kill who stitches his eyes shut? Uh, I know his name. He's green. Fuck. Kill, kill. Wait, you're just the guy in the you're just the guy in the robes at the end of the man in the box. Who's you? Yeah, I'm gonna be him. I'm just gonna stitch my eyes shut so I don't have to look at you people until you learn. Wait, hold on. So, like, if that, so, like, Ransom's gonna be a hero. Like, what kind of superhero would would Dino be? Uh, hmm. di- Dino the is any any superhero that slays massive push. The mask. <coughs> be okay, good. you're gonna be Jim Carrey's mask. No, the the comic mask. Oh. <laughs> well, he's not a hero. He's a bad guy. He's I thought he was a good guy. Or no, anti-hero. he's a. No, he's like no, he like mur- no, he's like a serial killer. He's like Jason or wait, something. Oh wait, Dino, do you mean mask or the mask? The mask. All right, good because I thought you were saying you wanted to be Rocky Dennis. Oh God! No <laughs> one <laughs> wants to be Rocky. Not even Rocky. Oh God! Dennis wanted to be Rocky Dennis. <laughs> oh my God! Oh this guy, that movie man. Then who would be? Then who would I be if you guys were to see me as a hero or something? Uh. And- Dude, who would Captain be as a superhero? Um, That's honestly a difficult question. Um, what's a cartoony, like, what's a cartoony, like, cat hero? I don't know. I know there's a new cartoon, like, um, comic book, like, superhero comic book that Marvel just released. I knew it. Hey, wait, no, you're no, good. you're, no, you're, you're, um, you're Tom Holland from Spies in Disguise. <laughs> This guy. God damn it, Grayson! I'm not a bottom bitch. <laughs> Tom Holland's not a bottom bitch either. He's he's preaching a pacifist message. That movie, that movie is actually really good from what I heard. I want to see it. You just want to see it because you want to see Will Smith as a bird. <laughs> yeah, I do want to see Will Smith as a bird. You got a problem? That sounds fun. Uh, so, I honestly, know. I do want to see the movie, but I just don't want to see like that that dumbass white boy. <laughs> Looking ass <laughs> with his dumb linguini nose and shit. You don't do it. He, he, it's just Flint Lockwood. Flint Lockwood. I mean, fuck it. I mean, all right. Everyone complains about the Cal Art style, but what do you explain like that white guy's face? Like, yeah, fucking of- Tom Holland with his like um big ass nose. He's looking like um that new sh- like um Pixar like onward like protagonist too. Yeah, but onward, onward, onwards, onwards like a little virgin. Spice in disguise as a Chad. <laughs> the funnier thing is that they're both all, that they're both Disney films. Yeah, well, technically, cool. yeah, but like, um, uh, fucking, uh, Soul looks good though. I don't, I don't like the way Onward looks so far, but Soul. Looks yeah, I'm not awesome. interested in like Onward. Like Soul, I definitely want to give onward. a chance. Bornward looks so fucking shitty. Fuck that movie. It doesn't. It doesn't look shit. It just looks disposable. I mean, it's like it's oh, true. like this, like a Tom Holland's character like brings his dad back from the dead, and he only has a whole, and he only has a day just to connect with him. That sounds boring as shit. Wait, I'm so just... it's basically the Spider-Man comic One More Day, <laughs> where. <laughs> where, where... Where uh, he brings Aunt May back to life for one more day, even though it goes against Peter Parker's entire established character, and everyone got mad about it. Jesus Christ. I hey. believe Link Carter reviewed it one time. Oh, God. <laughs> Run. Jesus. Onward. What? Onward to oh. what? Onward to the garbage bin. Hey, oh. No, hey, onward hey, to the red box. Oh, hey. I, that was terrible. I apologize, folks. That was you want to know what won't be going on or to the red, to the garbage bin, though? What? What? And I'm hoping that this doesn't happen. What? Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, yeah, that's coming out. Yo, yeah. take your girl to the Sonic movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah this Valentine's Day, baby. <laughs> that's my birthday. What the fuck? Wait, Valentine's is your birthday? Yes, I'm not joking. Wait, how come we never celebrate? I fucking tell you guys some. Do I? I don't know. Fuck. Well, either way, that, to, yeah, Valentine's Day is my birthday. I'm gonna be a fucking boomer now. <laughs> so, yeah, like, the Sonic movie. I can't believe it's finally coming out. <laughs> Yay. Dino, you should take a. Dino, you should take your girl to the Sonic movie. Hell yeah, I'm gonna get laid afterwards. Like, oh, wow, that was such an amazing. 
<laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Take your take your overlord body pillow into the. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, she's rich. All right. Don't talk shit about she, her. I, I know she's rich. We're gonna get her in the Gucci dress and the pieces. Remember the plan? Oh uh, yeah, and then Gotcha Man. And, and Gotcha Man, and we were gonna get the Sum Forty One CD of World of Flame and just blast it. In, my, in the fucking sports car. Yeah, blast it with the windows down. <laughs> yeah. We're all too late. But Sonic the Hedgehog, I don't know. Honestly, honestly, I don't know. The movie, it just looks, how do I say this? I don't know. It just. I don't know. I get the fucking Woody Woodpecker vibe out of it. Oh, it no. Looks, it, it, yeah, it looks like a generic, uh, like, uh, like CGI <laughs> character interacts with real humans movie. Yeah. What, what do you call that? What type of genre would you say? Um, I call it Smurfs. Oh. Smurfs! <laughs> oh, I, I call them Hopcore, since they all remind me of Hop. Oh, I mean, oh no, fuck you! <laughs> I mean, it doesn't help though that the main character of the Sonic movie was the same guy who... Wait, oh, yeah, it? oh yeah, it's James Marsden or whatever. Jason Marsden. Or, yeah, 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 it's Cyclops. Guy, yeah, like the same guy who played the main character in Hop is going to be playing the cop in the new Sonic movie. Um, meow? Whoa. No, no, also, like, you gotta have, like, a shot with them in the car and, and the cartoons in the passenger seat. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Wait, I'm surprised. Did you see his hop review before, like, like a week in advance? Wait, wait, what? Grayson? Yeah, didn't you see, didn't you say that you saw, like, Pan's review of hop a week yes. in advance, though? Yes, yes, and I left a comment a week in advance, too. Uh, and people were, people were like, what the fuck is this comment a week old? The video's only an hour old. And I was like, and, and I just replied saying, gentlemen, don't kiss and tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did tell. Hmm? No, well, I didn't, I didn't reveal my methods, okay? Yeah, true. Well, I mean, oh yeah, true. I'm, I don't know, like, for me at least, I feel like this film's gonna be in the quality of, like, the, type of, the Detective Pikachu movie at least. It's not bad, but it's not gonna be remembered. Just keep in mind, like, um, even though, like, um, like Sonic looked like um, a dumpster fire in the first one, the script is still the same, even though they improved them. Yeah, yeah. Even, even though they improved the design, the script is still going to be bad, but Jim Carrey is going to be fun, so who cares? Uh, Jim Carrey's not bad, what the fuck? But they I didn't like say it. bad, I said he's going to be fun. I know fun, but it's Robotnik. You, Robotnik is fat. If he's not Ro fat, no, no. Robotnik just has like Robotnik just has some tum tum in his thighs. He's just a little <laughs> yeah, thick in the yeah, thighs. Yeah, Robotnik doesn't have to be fat. He just he, like it. It's like that like, like the ass was fat, you know. Yeah, have you seen Sonic Boom? No. <laughs> oh god. Sonic Boom is the best Sonic cartoon. No, oh, see, yeah. no event, no adventures is the best Sonic cartoon. Yeah. Sonic. Oh, hint, hint, at our next guest. He's coming. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you, know ooh. The funny, you know the funnier thing about this whole ordeal, though, is... <coughs> what? That Jim Carrey said that he's interested in doing a Sonic sequel, and, like, he may or may not have hit Why? He might that there might be a sequel in the post credit scenes. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. Uh oh the, cine the Smash Cinematic Universe. Happening. No, but like, they're gonna reveal Tails is gonna... They're gonna they're gonna reveal Tails at the credit. Oh god! That's what he said. Yo, are we getting Tails gets trolled the movie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tails gets trolled. Oh, dude, 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 we gotta start the petition for Nessie to play Bugs. Tails gets <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, like Tails gets trolled the live action movie. Mm -hmm. Oh hey guys, I had an idea for like um another sideshow for like Comfy Couch. Yeah. yeah. So every week um it's called the Fick of the Week. So basically. Um, I'm a host of it, and I have, like, whatever guests on, whoever comes on for a week, and we read, like, um, bad fan fiction. That sounds yeah. amazing. And whoever, like, um, I get, like, um, they're gonna stay on for when I read Tales Gets Trolled. <laughs> oh my god. So who wants to join the Tales Gets Trolled, like, um... I wanna join you when you, when you read Sonic High School. Oh, Yo, I gotta, gonna I gotta be on the Tales Gets Trolled episode to play to play Knuckles to replicate my iconic performance from that one night when we read it. <laughs> oh yeah, and I, and I kept talking about the Red Wings. All right, but here's the thing: um, <laughs> who's gonna be there when I read Sonic Two? Uh, Sonic Two, I feel like that has to be like the, the grand finale. No, like, all right, listen. If you're, if I'm gonna read Sonic Two, you gotta be really special to me to be on there. Okay. 
And Metroid. And basically, I'm gonna get all of you on because you're all special to me. Oh, here, oh, I almost yeah. called you Dino. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I lo oh. love you, though. You're you're epic. That's cute. You have but a random. That's cute. You, you have a soul milk. But random. What? Will I be on when you do re when you do read Sonic High School? Oh, Sonic High School is gonna be first. Sonic High School. What are you guys talking about? I just got back. <laughs> So basically, we're starting a sideshow for Comfy Couch, where I'm reading bad fan fiction every week. Oh. 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 Who's up oh, for yeah. that? What's the name of that one shitty? What's the name of that one shitty fanfic where it's like my? Is it my immortal? Is that one? Oh, my immortal. Yeah. Um, that I'm gonna definitely do that, but like, um, I'm probably gonna have someone like I'm gonna read it to someone who's never read it because I feel like I've read it to everyone I know. Okay, alright, alright. Well, speaking of, like, my mor my immortality, um, My Chemical Romance. Oh, fuck yeah. My Chemical Romance has finally come back, and I didn't get a oh. fucking ticket. Oh, God. Wow. Ha ha, get, get, get trolled, nerd. Damn. Damn. You dare take that, incels. You don't, I, get, I, a I, you don't I, get a ticket to book. I'm probably not going to get tickets either when they come to Detroit, because that shit's going to be expensive. Oh no, they're super expensive, and also, like, Ticketmaster screwed everybody over. Well, that's Ticketmaster, what do you expect? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Ticketmaster. Like, people have been protesting, but, like, remember when Pearl Jam was up against Ticketmaster for the longest time? No. Like that, like that was that was a whole thing. Like there was a whole saga of Pearl Jam versus Ticketmaster. It 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 was an epic saga of of of. But then, event, but then eventually they they I think they settled out of court and Ticketmaster kept to their shitty ways. Uh, Ticketmaster, those motherfuckers are so shitty. I hate them so much. Mm -hmm. Did, are you Jesus fucking Christ! Just for a basic ticket, you need to spend a hundred and ninety four. Bucks? Fuck. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I get it because like they've been gone for like years, and now they're yeah, coming back. Yeah, they've been gone since 2013. But I thought like I thought you know. going to a concert was like a dead tradition or something. So why would you guys? It's not. It's super not. Live music is very very active. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Look at look at Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Get that weeb shit out of here. We're talking about rock and roll, baby. <laughs> fuck your ass. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so pretty much everyone I know got a ticket except me, even though, like, the people who got the tickets, I was waiting in front of, like, 6,000 people. Oh. That's how bad the wait was. Wait. Why do I have a feeling that, like, some scalper scumbag wait, just, like, so, wait, so, Huey, ticket? so, Huey, would you say that you're not okay? Oh, that's how, oh, basically, when I couldn't get the tickets, like, well, I was trying to get them while I was going to work. And next thing you know what, I didn't get the tickets. I decided to, like, I was like, fuck my eardrums. I put on I'm Not Okay, and I put on Full Blast, and I'm crying on the train. <laughs> that's so, that's so good. I can just imagine, like, really sad here, just screaming along. Remember all the videos? Photographs, you boy. <laughs> no, no, um, I was, I wasn't, I was, like, angry crying. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> well, random, you really are goth. <laughs> MCR isn't goth, you fuck. Damn. I don't, get I don't care. It's the same. I don't care. It's the same to me. MCR isn't emo either. Do you do you know how like angry I was and how not okay I was? Both. How oh, not okay. Before singing the song, I basically screamed this: "You like D and D, Audrey Hepburn, Fangoria, <laughs> Harry Houdini, and Croquet. You can't swim, you can't dance, can't and do you it. don't know karate. Don't know Face karate. it, you're never gonna make it." Gonna make it. Boom. Basically, I screamed that to myself while crying. Wow. You <laughs> <laughs> screamed the opening. The opening of it. Wow. I just screamed the opening to, like, um, the I'm Not Okay music video. Yeah, wait. I don't want to make it. I just want to... That's, that's how I was. I, I, lo I love that video. It's Are such a good serious? video. Oh, shit. I just had a theory. You know how everyone's <laughs> talking about MCR now? Everyone's yeah. all all excited for MCR and yeah. seeing them again, reliving their emo days. 
I just realized something. What if MCR is just a distraction for the coronavirus? <sighs> oh. Oh. Wait, so, wait, so the coronavirus can wipe us all out, but we're all so distracted by MCR's kick-ass jam? Yeah, what if like Gerard Way wanted to, like, spread the coronavirus? Alright, I'm tired of you guys and your fear mom. alright? Because I got some good news about the coronavirus, like... Si okay, uh, wait, no. Gerard, Gerard Way created... Penny Parker, coronavirus confirmed. Oh. She's Asian, coronavirus, boom. But she's Japanese! Oh, damn it, wait. <laughs> I still haven't seen Spider-Verse, it's been like five years. Spider-Verse came out in 2018, Grayson. But basically, um, Gerard Way created the coronavirus because he's like, that's for fucking canceling Breakfast Monkey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, guys, I have good news. So, several scientists have found, like, a possible cure. Okay, so to what's the key? Alcohol. 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 Yeah, like, drinking alcohol, you know? <laughs> Wait, so they're gonna pound Corona to defeat the coronavirus. Yes. Fight fire with fire. Dude, Corona's for... Corona's for wusses. <laughs> oh, guilt. Uh, whatever. I, oh, I, I can't... I can't have alcohol. My, my, Too my, bad. My, too yeah, bad. yeah, cap it, cap it's too much of a good boy. L listen, I got it. No, no, I can't. No, I can't because like I have a fat because I have an infected liver, and if I even drink alcohol, I'll die of, I'll die of alcohol poisoning. Oh shit! Really? Oh fuck! I yeah. didn't know that. Wow. Oh damn! You have a liver infection. That's Jesus crazy. fucking crying. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Wow. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, I'll get I'll get my mom to comment thoughts and prayers on on Facebook and then and then not think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn, I'm sorry, Captain. Like legit, fucking a. All right, so those are those are really serious. Like legit, I I I, I don't want to lose my cat boy. Uh, I love you, man. All right, I'm really glad for the Thrashers right now because they're not gonna get the coronavirus because all they do is like drink beer all day. Yes. Uh, and just mosh to like municipal waste. <laughs> I just yeah, realized. Yeah, they're just listening to Panzer so that they, so they, they're, they're listening to Panzer pounding Guinness so that they I just realized something. What? I just realized something. Gene Simmons' son, he wrote a shitty manga years yeah, ago. Yeah, he wrote a, he wrote a bleached ripoff manga. What does that have to do with the coronavirus? Thing? I don't fucking know, because we were talking about bands. I'm like, oh yeah, Gene Simmons' and his son wrote a shitty manga. Here's every the thing, I don't respect Kiss. Yeah, respect no, no one thing. respects, I don't respect Kiss either. No one does. Oh, well. Wait, Why? so, wait, so Wait, so does that mean that like this um, sucks? Wait, so does that mean that like Slash is admit, is officially dead now? Uh, Slash is from Guns N' Roses, you you cuck lord. I, you know that I don't listen to rock and roll music, Grayson. I, I, yeah, I know you you keep to your goddamn tears for queers all day. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm just kidding. I love tears for queers. Well, you you better shout. Shout, Shout let it all out. out. These are the These things are that you can are. do without. Come on. Come on. I'm, I'm talking, talking to you, you, so come yeah. on. Have you ever heard the Disturbed cover? Yes, I have. It's honestly not bad. Uh, yeah, epic. <laughs> I, it's I remember. honestly not bad. Yeah, it is. It is a good cover. Yeah, like, Disturbed's covers are a lot better than their originals, honestly. Damn. I, I mean, I like Disturbed, though, but, like, honestly, I just want to take they the entire The Sickness. Of a, of a Genesis song, Land of Confusion. They did. Uh, yeah, and, and, um, fucking, what's his ass? Todd McFarlane did the, uh, did the animation for the music video. I, I know. Yeah. Wait, Todd McFarlane did animation? Yeah, Todd McFarlane did uh, did a few music videos in the '90s, like uh, "Ish" and "Do the Evolution" by Pearl Jam. Oh, that's such a good video! I love that video. Uh, it's evolution, baby. That's a. Uh. I had no. I had no idea that like a uh, top. Yeah, Todd McFarlane. He's been around. Yeah, Todd Mc Todd McFarlane's epic. He gets the chalky milk seal of approval. He does. Yeah, and he and he made those weird looking character designs for that Shrek Xbox game. Hey wait, hey wait, is 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 um is the violator from Spawn a juggalo? <laughs> I think so. You know what he dude, is. is he d dude, he, yeah, he's down with the clown cuz he is the clown. There we go. Yeah. There we go. 
And that we is solve, we solved the mystery. Oh. We finally know why the why why the violator is such an awful person. <laughs> <laughs> Juggalos are cool. Mm-hmm. Hey Grayson. What about that one Juggalo who has that? What about that one Juggalo who has the furry daughter? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's Violent J himself. From ICP. <laughs> hey Grayson, have I ever showed you that one video of like um this mosh pit from like Gathering of the Juggalos? No. Oh, God. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, this is my favorite video, and I show pretty much everyone I know it because I just feel it on a metaphysical level. <laughs> Jesus wait, Christ. wait, speaking of funny mosh pit videos, have you guys ever seen, like, uh, I know Jacob's favorite is the Nostalgia Critic mosh pit of a bunch of people <laughs> cosplaying as the Nostalgia Critic and all mosh pit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but my favorite is, like, honestly a really wholesome one. It's a, it's footage of a Less Than Jake concert where even, where even the security guard gets involved in the pit and, like... <laughs> He's just skanking it off. Dude, the, that's so the, epic. The great uh, early 2000s ska music, and it's just aw. Alright, uh, here's like on the video of like um, the Gathering of the Juggalos mosh pit. It's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> oh, I have seen this. This is fucking oh, this is classic. Oh god, I'm scared. I did not consent to this. I, I'm not no. Jesus. I love how the music just fits with everything going on. <laughs> oh my god. Well, look, Dino, you just made a comeback. You have to deal with this. Oh, yeah, that's true. Y- yeah, you have to deal with Juggalo's moshing. I am. I could say such an offensive joke right now, but I'm not going. Why? This shit is. Oh Go and say god. it. Oh my god. <laughs> have you ever just smelled a video? Because I can smell this video. <laughs> Yo, this video smells like, um, raw sewage and fago. And daddy issues. Oh my god. Yeah, no, the, 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 the video, when, whenever... Because, like, I have... You, you have asked that question before. And the video that I can smell is the really infamous clip uh, of, of, the, of the rat who's, like, chained up. And he gets his little wee... He gets his little rat wee wee cut off. No! <laughs> It's such a disturbing oh, oh, video, but like I can, man. no, I can smell it. No, God son. Damn it, Grayson. Man, it all, man it. this video, all these girls, they all. It's so clearly that all these are females that were born after 1993. They can't cook. All they know is McDonald's, charge their phone, twerk, be bisexual, eat hot chip, and lie. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, they don't know karate. They can't swim. Uh, wait, fuck, what's the, what's the thing from the video? God damn it. I don't know. Do you want me to, are you trying to make me say this whole thing again? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, fine, I'll do it again. You like yeah, D&D, yeah. Audrey Hepburn, Fangoria, Harry Houdini, and Croquet. You can't swim, you can't dance, and you don't know karate. Face it, you're never gonna make it. I don't wanna make it. I just... It, okay, Dino, now say the hot chip. Thing. I want to eat hot chip and lie. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, wait, can I um, get these references? <laughs> eating hot chips. No, no. I just realized. <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys. One. Wow, so, um, this has been a very interesting ret- form, Dino. We, we've missed you. We've missed you a lot, dude. Yeah. Uh, Come back more often. Yeah, um, this is... Yeah, but this is only be- the beginning. Comfy couch, motherfucker. <laughs> of life. I, mean, dude, dude, dude. I thought this was a shitty rap song that you sang random. It was like, I thought it was the beginning, but I only knew it was the beginning or some shit like that. What was it? What is random. a juggalo? I don't know, but I'm down with the comfy couch and I'm down for life, yo. Hell yeah. Out of Jimmy's head, too. Yo. <laughs> hey, it's random. me, Jacob. How's it going? Hey, Random, I have a question. What? Is this the end of the comfy couch for today's episode? I kind of don't want it to be over because I've enjoyed my stay. Yes, we got ten. Uh, let's go for another twenty minutes. No, we can. No, oh, wait, really? Jesus. Okay. Um, like, All right. Can we talk? Nah, nah. nah I think it's Why the, the end. Fuck? No, no. We got one more thing. Why the fuck does Mandy not have a note? Like, shit. Come on. What the fuck. Hey, because cool. she'll look ugly with a nose. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Krillin doesn't have a nose either. Imagine <coughs> nose. That would be weird. I mean, what about anime girls? Anime girls don't got noses. Yeah, they do. It's like a little pecker. That's not a nose. <laughs> it's a little pecker thing. That makes it sound like they got 
like like little dingus is coming out of their nose. No, no, they have like the pearl. They have like the pearl nose. That's what that's what Dino was trying to refer to. Kind of. They got, got that little. Nose. Look at this shit. Look like that. That's not a nose. That's hardly a nose. That's not even a nose. What the fuck was that? That that's like Disney princess nose. <laughs> Disney princess. Well, nah, no, man. but the, the 3D princesses all have noses. Well, at least Disney princesses do have noses. Anime girls, they don't have noses. Man, yeah, I, yeah, like, we, we gotta put an end to this debate. Like, this man, did Rapunzel right, you, have a nose? I don't remember. This man has the best nose in all of anime. Prove me wrong. No, wait, I'll, I'll show you the man with the best nose in all of anime. <laughs> Top 10 anime noses. <laughs> what, what the fuck is Kakigir? Oh, yeah, I typed in gambling. No, 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 no. What, you don't like what, what? what? No, no, I'm not saying that. Like, I'm gonna say, like, there's this one guy with, like, this fucking Mario nose who has the best nose in anime history. Who is it posted? Um, Post- something, is this something that was created by, um, Osamu Tezuka or something? Osamu Tezuka. He has a lot of characters with, like, very big Mario-looking noses. Wait, isn't he Astro Boy guy? Yeah, that's yeah, that's the guy who created Astro Boy. Okay, now this is this is my favorite nose in the anime, guys. <coughs> the secret. Uh, hell yeah, Adrian. Hell yeah, <laughs> from from King Kong, the two thousand five version. I actually knew a friend who looked exactly like him. Like no joke. What really, yeah. dude? Like that's on it. That's honestly yeah, on. one hell of a compliment because I. I I personally think Adrian Brody is a very good-looking fellow. Look, I need to watch The Pianist. You want to know what's an interesting thing about it? You want to know what's an interesting <laughs> thing about so the... You want to know what's an interesting thing piece. about the 2005 King Kong movie, though, Grayson? What? Uh, what? The people who made Rayman, who made Rayman 2 and Rayman the the King Kong video game. Yeah, I know. I, I, I played it on GameCube as a kid. It, it, it's honestly really good. It's honestly shocking though, like they got the team that made Rayman two to make uh, that made the Rayman games to make King Kong. Yeah, and plus, and plus, uh, I'm, I'm sure Kiri already knows, but uh, uh, just to get right, like, but, real. but you know, now our boy Jablinski is in it. You know? Oh Jablinski. hell yeah! What's Jable and Jables? Yeah, what's Jable and Jables? <laughs> dude, I dude, I want to hang out with Jack Black someday. So do Jack I. Black. Jack Black. We all wish to hang out with Jack Black, but then Black again, Black. let's let's get Jack Black on the company. Hell yeah! No, we gotta we gotta play games though. We gotta. Oh wait, he doesn't play games. We gotta get. We yeah, he just to... goes to like arcades with his with his kids and makes. Yeah, he's like then. he's like sorry guys, no games today. Well, I'm here on the comfy couch cast. I'm here on the comfy couch cast with random Harry and Cat Mick. They're epic. <laughs> Hey, where's the hey, hey, Jack Black, where's the coke? Oh, you mean the one that you snorted during, like, on the set of School of Rock? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Who the fuck is this bitch? Wait, what are you looking at? Was he on coke when he was shooting School of Rock? I heard, um, that, um, I, I think that's a rumor, but I heard, like, that's what's going on. Dude, that's fucking, that's, that's so weird. That'll give me a whole new perspective next time I watch that movie, because it's like a childhood <laughs> classic. Knowing that he was on coke that whole time. Was but weird. then again, Grayson, School of Rock did get a shitty Nick, get a shitty Nick com. So yeah, it got a shitty Nick com that my uncle was on. He's he's in the background of an episode of School of Rock the series. <laughs> Wait, really? Hi, yeah, hi, Uncle PJ. How you doing? Wow. Wow, Lois, that was epic. Lois Griffin, she has an epic anime now. <laughs> Lois Griffin, she's that got an epic sandwich. Anime. Yeah, she's a half sandwich. <laughs> Hold on, I just found this funny image. I, I was actually looking for it because I know I have it. <laughs> There's this one image of Lois I, I want to put in here. I can't find it. Oh, fuck it. I found Peter. I found Peter. That's the closest thing I'll get. What the fuck is that? Also, there's there's a really funny... Back to back to Mosh Pits for just one second. There's a really funny video that I saw the other... What'd you find? Of, uh, of, it was a, 
It was actually in a Loudwire top ten list. Which oh, is, god like, damn it. Fucking Loudwire. Yeah. They're like, um, well, Rock and well, Metal's, like, Watch Mojo. Yeah, no, but, like, they're like, if Watch Mojo had a soul. Um, because, <laughs> like, because, like, I don't know, I actually, because, like, the Loudwire team is actually really small. It's only, like, it's only, like, four or five people, I think. Like, um, but, yeah, uh, it was, like, footage from in a Day to Remember concert before, before the band came on stage, they were just playing a Backstreet Boys, co- uh, a Backstreet Boys song, um, they were playing the, the original version of Virgin with Rage, uh, uh, whatever that song is called, I want it that way, uh, um, and, and people were just fucking going hardcore to it. It was so amazing. It was, it was so Christ. good. There was, there, yeah, and there was, a, there, was a, there was a cute girl with a purple mohawk. Oh, yeah. Purple mohawk ass. Jesus Christ. Awesome. You know, I'm, I'm so glad just, you enjoyed something out of that, Grayson. Yes. yes. I, yeah, no, I genuinely enjoy it. Content. It's so stupid sometimes. You like what content? Uh, Loudwire. They're like they're like a rock and metal YouTube channel that like makes like um clickbaity top tens. But they're they can actually make some really like funny content. Like the top ten inspirational Gigi Allen quotes, where all the comments are like, "This inspired me to throw feces at people." <laughs> <laughs> Gigi Allen, that monster. Yeah, no, Gigi Allen is a monster. Me and Dino watched his TED Talk one time. It was so <laughs> awkward. He just yells at, he's just yelling at people and starting yeah, no, he no, Yeah, no, he like threw a broken bottle at, a, at some chick who was just there at the show. Fuck it, Jesus. Gigi Allen was a monster. Fuck it. Gigi Allen was weird. Okay, so, like, um,. Um, I'm friends with, like, um, this one guy, um, he actually owns a glass shard that Gigi Allen used on stage to cut himself. What the fuck? That's metal as fuck, does it have a on it? I-, I think so, he keeps it in, like, um, a container. Obviously. So the AIDS Gigi. doesn't get out. <laughs> the satanic power. The satanic power of Gigi Allen's AIDS blood. Yeah, what the fuck, oh, that man, that man did every drug in the book. Yeah. Thing. That man, man. Ugh, he, uh, I'm dope, but that man was just... We had an entire ten-minute conversation about anime noises. That was... It's not... This is <laughs> Yo, who's been coughing this entire yeah, podcast? Yeah. Who's got the coronavirus? Oh, man. <laughs> wait, this is... Wait, we're still doing the podcast right now? I thought we stopped recording ten minutes ago. Oh, recording. Oh, shit. Holy well, Jesus. Well, well, I guess... So we could say... Is this the end of the Comfy Couch cast, everyone? Yes, it is. That's the yeah. end. Boom. Cut Wrap to black. Up. Wrap it up, Bye, folks. Bye, everyone. I'm Captain. Who are you, people? I'm Random Harry. I'm, I'm, I'm steve man. You're steve I know. It's been a while, and, I'll, and I hope to see you guys soon. Welcome back to the podcast, Dino. Welcome back, Dino. We love you. Bear hug.